One, two, three, four. Eliminated. If these guys do not entertain me, then they are eliminated. Who's got the strategy to wow her? The player. I just wanted a little moment with her. Bad boy. <laughs> the follower. Right on. That was a great idea. Or the shocker. Paul's boxers have more personality than he does. Where did he buy those panties? Fredericks of Hollywood? Three get the X, one gets the date. The only difference between Tom Cruise's risky business stance and mine is I had a better body than Tom Cruise. It all starts now. My name is Shannon. I am a full-time student, and I'm also a bartender. I am the worst bartender that was ever created, but if you want a friendly smile and a nice approach, come to my side of the bar and please tip. I need a mature guy that likes to have fun, that's comfortable with himself, and has confidence. If these guys do not entertain me, then they are eliminated. Next. <laughs> Round one, I'm looking for a guy with some personality, something to interest me, some sparks to fly, so they better be ready to show me something, and if not... I think I'm basically the funniest guy in the world, really. I'm Mike, and I'm just looking for a hot girl today. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I'm Mike. I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Good. You look great. Well, thank you. So do you. Thank you very nice. much. Shannon is beautiful. She is unbelievable. He was a baby doll. Very cute little guy. I'm not just a pretty face. I pack a punch. I'm Brad. I work in advertising sales, and when it comes to meeting women, I'm always closing the deal. Where'd your shirt go, Dad Muffin? It's all about TCB, taking care of business. Awesome. You know it's December, right? Ah, I thought I'd tell her what she's going to get from us. Hey, right oh, now. Hey, hey. Ooh. Ooh. How are you? What's your name? I'm again? Brad. Hi, Brad. What's your name? I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you. It's getting hot out here all of a sudden. I don't even think I heard his name because I was too busy looking at his chest. I think Shannon is an attractive woman that hey, has sensuality and can definitely have style. Women think I'm just a pair of lips, but can you see I'm more than that? I'm Greg, I'm a full-time student out here in Chapel Hill, and I'm proud to be a gigolo. I'm feeling real hot. Hey, Hello. Hello. Three. Hi, I'm doing? Shannon, what's wow. your name? My name is Greg. Nice and low. <laughs> My first impression of Shannon, she's a very beautiful girl. First impression of Greg was a little baby doll, like little blonde, natural curly hair. I got the know how and the looks to suit this lady off her feet. I'm Paul, I'm a firefighter here in North Carolina, and I get dressed up in rubber and then snap the foreplay. Hey. How you doing? I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. What's your name? I'm Shannon. Shannon, nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you. You so look lovely. And formal. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, Paul, um, he was a very cute guy. Thank you, Eliminate. Uh, Shannon is very gorgeous. I have all my boys here. All my boys. And we are ready to play Eliminate. Boys, boys, I like boys. <laughs> Let's go. After I formally met everybody outside, we went inside to have a couple drinks at the bar. You know each other a little bit better. Oh, boys, boys, a lot, boys. Okay, guys, so first impressions mean a lot. So, Greg, right? why don't you start and tell me what your first impression of all your competition is? Um, let's see. This guy, um, he's obviously compensating for something. He's got to take his shirt off to impress this lady. <laughs> This guy looks like the typical uh, kind of frat boy, you know, whatever. If you want to be the typical, go ahead. And this guy, I don't know, uh, looks a little shy. I don't know. He might work construction. He's wearing, like, steel toe boat boots. We'll see. So whatever. So you wouldn't take I, your shirt off and you're not a frat boy, right? Well, I, I'll definitely take my shirt off for you, oh, but really? I'm definitely we'll not a frat we'll boy. Take it off, you've, already, you've already got the pants rolled up there. Take it hey, off. You know, you as long it. as you have some fashion style, you know. Take it off. They're talking. Like that. That was nice. Two little buff naked boys right beside of me. That was special. I like that. When Greg took his shirt off, you know, whatever. Whatever. He's really got nothing. He's got bigger tits than my sister, I think. So what do you think about your competition? Oh, uh, you know, first impression. Uh, no competition. So what about Mike? I think uh, Mike looks like maybe the model type, but, you know. I get that a lot, actually. Uh, so that's not a good thing to be the model type? Well, you know, it can be overdone. Okay. It can be overdone. It's too this much. comes from the guy who came in here with his shirt off. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. That's the last guy, I don't Paul? know. Uh, I, I would go along like, with the construction type, maybe construction. long is that, hair. Is that original? Did you just hear him uh, say no, that? Like, you know, landscaping, you okay, know, yeah. It's an uneducated You look, you look about 18, though, so. Yeah. I only have really one question for Paul. 
How in the hell did he get on this date? Oh, okay, your turn, big boy. My. All, all these guys look pretty cool. I mean, I, we got some pant legs rolled up. I guess that's just in case we spill some beer or something tonight. And we've got Enrique Iglesias over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll have to try a little harder. Hey, I don't think that's a negative because Enrique Iglesias is a you know, sensual, sexual person. And hey, that's all describing me. And then this guy looks like a pretty cool guy, I man. We can hang out, drink some beers or something. That's what we're here for. But uh, yeah, everybody, right. everybody here looks pretty cool. So you're and not going to take your shirt off either? Not right now. Uh, not okay. right now. Mike didn't want to take his shirt off because he's insecure with himself. He's obviously hiding something. God, I know. I should have taken my shirt off. That was stupid. You guys had to pay me oh, to take my shirt off, so whatever. <laughs> Listen, I, I miss what you guys as professional ones. You mind if I catch up get a little bit here? Because I can't uh, yeah, man. Uh, what is your name again? It's Greg. Greg, what do you do? What do I do? I'm yeah. a professional soccer player. Greg? I'm in advertising sales. Advertising sales. What's your name? Brett. Brett. I write movie scripts for instructional training videos. That sounds <laughs> good. All right. Uh, well, my name's Paul. I'm a firefighter. Uh, it's close to construction. Um, I do get dirty, whatever it takes. Um, advertising what are you sounds. Doing? I'm a firefighter. Okay. Oh, Adver firefighter. And Paul's probably the guy that sits on top of the fire truck and goes, woo, woo, woo. So you have a big hose? I'm sorry. You got a big head. I'm not gonna stand up and show you right now. Slide down the pole. Yeah, that's something you'd have to find out. I would bank on. I would bank on slide down the pole. Yeah, I don't know about a guy that can the big head pole. You know, I think that's a girl's show. You said you're a poet. You might be. I don't know, but maybe you ought to write a script about what you should wear next time. Advertising. That sounds like a basic nine to five job. Go for it, man. And Mike over here. Mike, uh, you guys, sounds like you got a decent job, man. It sounds like it's different. You get to, you get to be original. You get to tell people what to say if you write mm -hmm. scripts. Go for it. Uh, Shannon, I didn't catch what uh, mm -hmm. your profession is. I'm a full-time student. These guys are like connecting yeah, to you. Here. Uh, <laughs> you uh, it's funny. When we were in conversation, it seemed like Mike and Paul were flirting with one another. Paul's been looking at me, uh, and I'm getting kind of nervous. Like well, all y'all are talking, and y'all are making me talk too much. I need a drink, so his... I got it. I got it. Uh, that would be a blue moon. Cash money. Cash money. Man, I'm in. I'm so in. I definitely saw the opportunity when Mike got up and Brad got up to get a beer to get closer to Shannon. You know, as soon as they got up, I made my move. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. So, let's talk about in the bedroom. Comparing yourself, let's say you can compare yourself to an animal. What animal would you compare yourself to in the bedroom and <laughs> why? And if I could see some, like, action, you know, a little... Oh, yeah. Motion. Okay. Oh, this guy's jumping to it, man. Go for it. Paul's always in yeah. first. Take him to the team, Paul. Let me think of what type of animal I'd rather be. Um, a koala bear. Koala bear is real nice and cuddly, but at the same time, cuddling. They're almost extinct, aren't they? <laughs> no. They're way down under, though. They're, they're down under, which <laughs> koala bears, they can be rough in the jungle, but at the same time, they're cuddly. So you're rough. Whatever. Rough, and then afterwards, they can cuddle. They're, they're real good. They're real sweet. They're nice guys. Have you ever seen a koala bear be rough? I'd probably say I'd be something like a cheetah. Because uh, his motions are so smooth and fluid. So I got a cheetah and a koala bear. Next! Um, I would probably say I'd best represent like a tiger or something like that. I would kind of like to bite. Lions and tigers lightly. in there? Oh my! Yeah, I mean, it's just a little bite. And I can demonstrate, you know, just a little nibble. That was special. Okay. We got a, a nibble. To it. We got a nibble, a color, and a fur. Okay. Next. Here you go, Mike. You're up. What about uh, I'd say an elephant. <laughs> an elephant. I don't really know. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Do you have elephant titles? Remember. I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't really know why. I just think I'm going to say elephant. Yeah, Is it just because the trunk or something? Yeah. 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 Well, let's see how the trunk works. Well, that first maybe question. it does. He said maybe it doesn't. <laughs> you don't pick up peanuts with your trunk? <laughs> okay. Let, let's see, Shannon. I'll be thinking about this. I don't know. Da, 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 da. I don't know. <laughs> Coming up, who will Shannon cut first? I really believe that Paul should get cut just because he seems like a weak link. I think Paul's going to get cut this round. I definitely think Paul will get cut. He has nothing to bring to the table. I think Brad's going to get kicked off this round. He's nothing. Tell him a day. <laughs> Who do you think Shannon will eliminate first? Mike, Brad, Greg, or Paul? Um, well... All my little cutie patooties. Um, the name of the game is Eliminate, but um, I'm gonna have to eliminate Brad. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Over. Okay. It's all good. All right, now I'm down to my three cuties. 
I said Brad because I don't know, I don't feel like he was like totally completely into me like all the rest of them were. I'm telling you, Shannon, you're missing out, you know. I didn't get to show you the goods. He's an awesome guy, but it is eliminated, so I must be the eliminator and let one of them go. And unfortunately, I had to be Brad this round, so sorry. Shannon, hey, listen, I'll find, you know, someone else that appreciates what I have to offer. For, but for the next round, we're going to stay here, play some pool, have some more drinks, see how I can get these guys to fall in love with me, because that's what it's about. So I might need a little help with, this guy's all with my balls. form. <laughs> Mike stepped in right away. What do I do with here my fingers? What you want to do? I do like this. Okay. What Because I'm like Tom Cruise, color money, baby. What you want to do? I like the fact that Mike took charge and said, hey, Shannon, this is how you do it. When it came to the pool shop, Mike was giving Shannon. He was just trying to get all over her. I think you're going to flow because that really isn't good for him there. And now just What's your form? If you take this, put your stick between your fingers, you can get a stick in your hand. Is that how you do it? That finger right there? You know, they were trying to play smooth. I stood back and watched their dumb mistakes. That was awesome. Oh, so you win, you win. Hey. <laughs> all right, let's get this thing going. I can show you what that uh, curtain's good for behind it. Well, I'll go for it. You're interested? Yeah, I'll hold your Will you come? Oh, no. Come. I can't. You gotta come, babe. Here you go. <laughs> you got, it's, it's all behind hey, the curtains. When I pulled Shannon behind the curtain, I just wanted a little time, a little moment with her. Greg tried to jump the gun on Shannon by taking her behind the curtain. A little too fast, a little too much. Oh, bad. Boy. I, I know. See, behind the curtain, it's always better. Greg takes her behind the curtain, man. I'm like, right on. That's a great idea. I'll be there in a second. Bad boys, bad boys. What's going on? Hey, what's going Two on? Two bad boys. What's she going on? Did, did I invite this guy? Idea. That is a great idea. Did I invite this guy? Oh my god, that was so cool. Mike comes barging in, destroys the moment. Such a retard. Crazy <laughs> stuff, That is so uncalled for. After they went behind the curtain, I had to show them what I was about. So uh, I decided to drop my pants. Come on, man. Paul, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, Paul, yeah, good like... call. Hi, Paul, we're coming. Go ahead, right, come, come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this is how you're going to break things. All right. Guys, this is form. No, guys, come on. Oh, oh. Oh. No, it's 95. That is a break. It's got some Your good form. Your hands are glowing in the dark. Are they, how did that happen? I, I'm, I'm totally clueless. Let me, let me catch my pants. Let me, who's up oh, next? That is sick, dude. Honestly, Paul, where did he buy those panties? Fredericks of Hollywood? Are they crotchless? Hmm. Right now, I'm thinking, God, that Paul did not take his shirt off. Nope. So you sleep in fluorescent bodies? No, I don't, I don't sleep in fluorescent bodies. <laughs> so what nothing. do you sleep in? Nothing. I don't sleep in anything. So you sleep it's, in it's, nothing? It's restricting. Why and you sleep in nothing? Birthday suit. Birthday suit? What do you sleep in? I sleep in boxers. They're not gold and shiny. No. Let's see your boxers. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Sure. Right. Why not? He's not turning Shannon on. If anything, he's turning on Paul. You have to play pool like that, baby. Oh, yeah. You have to play pool in yours, too. <laughs> you have to. If you want to take it off now, you got to take it off. <laughs> take it off. Go! My oh, honey, it's your world, Rocket. Mike does have a hot body, so the whole shirt between the legs, I didn't mind it. I just sat and gawped and winked under my skin. Hey. Stay, fluorescent boy. Take them off. <laughs> There's no one here, but yeah, you know. So this is what I look like when I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay. Tom I will... Cruise, color money, baby. Right there. What's that little dance he does in Risky Business? I don't remember. Oh, Risky Where Business. Where he slides through. Can you do that at all? Yeah, I can. I can. Let's see. Right. Yay. Woo. Go, Tom. Go, Tom. Go, Tom. The closest that Mike is going to get to a Tom Cruise movie is Rain Man, because he's a retard. The only difference between Tom Cruise's risky business dance and mine is I kind of think I had a better body than Tom Cruise. Who will Shannon got next? I think Greg's gonna get cut this round just because he's got so much disrespect for everybody. Bottom line is Paul needs to go. Purely for the fact he's a cross-dresser. I think Paul's boxers have more personality than he does. He's out of here. Tell him a day. Is Shannon going to eliminate next? Greg, Paul, or Mike? Okay, so we played pool our second round, and I had a great time. But it is eliminate, so I have to eliminate one of you, and it's going to be. Oh, Can I ask sorry. why? 
Um, what I mess up on? I don't know. Maybe I think like your panties were cuter than mine. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. You too. Bye. Bye. We'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> My regret might have been. Uh, I would have worn uh, red leopard boxers instead of gold leopard boxers. That might have done it. Don't wear the panties, you know, boxers, briefs, bloody tidies, just not the shiny fluorescent panties, please. My advice for Paul is burn those boxers in the next fire you're rescuing somebody from. All you lovely ladies out there, I am single and once again looking for somebody to cuddle with. Nah, I'm going to the bar. Yeah. Right now, we are starting completely over. Nobody is ahead of anybody. They're all just as cute as the other. So, I need somebody to wow me this round. Boys, 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 boys. So, here you guys are. And you both are like right here. Do you know this? So, it's going to take, well, it's going to have to, something's going to have to happen. So, what are we going to do next? I don't know. Like, what if there was a fourth round? Like, what would happen with us? We'd probably have to go out and grab a couple of drinks, maybe do some dancing. You already saw the risky business move out there. I so there's plenty there. more where that came oh. from, I guess. So that, that would be our next round. round? That would be our next round. Dancing? That would be our fourth round. Absolutely. What about you? So if we had a fourth round, what would we get? Well, you know, I'd like to see you shake your thing out there. And then I'd like to join you. You know, a little hip action. That feeling on the dance floor that you get when you're with uh, that special person. We'll find out. So what do you think? Oh so you think that he's going to show me all the right hip actions? I hope so. I doubt he's going to show you the right hip action. I mean, he's going to sure as hell try. Let's go dance! <laughs> Both of them were great dancers. Both of them were very attentive on me. Mike had his hands on her hips, like as if, you know, he was a blind man finding his way around. She's just got an unbelievable body. I cannot keep my hands off of her. dance for anything, but I came out here to get it done. Mike used his physical being to push Shannon aside at one point. I pulled her away from Greg because honestly I didn't think she was digging dance with him too much. Will it be Greg or Mike? Shannon's final cut is next. This eliminate decision is going to be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Changing my headlight wasn't even hard. This is the worst. Eliminate. Okay, boys, so I tried to change the rules so I could keep you both and have you as my little boy toys for the rest of my oh. life, but it's not going to work out that way. Oh, and it is a limit date, so one of you have to go. So I'm going to have to eliminate. I'm going to have to eliminate you, my Oh boy. my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. But, yeah. I gotta ask though, how did I get eliminated? What did I do? I that don't know. I, I couldn't decide. Really? I, come on, come on, eliminate. Right. So I seriously got eliminated? You're not joking. That <laughs> risky business dance. I need to see it. You've got to be. <laughs> Actually, the risky business dance? I don't know what to say. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Oh, Amazing. Mike. Mike's mad at me now. I'm shocked. Shocked. I have nothing to say. I picked you, Greg, because you were honest the whole time. You were yourself. I did not see this coming. This is unbelievable. I am so glad she picked me just for the pure fact that I got to spend time with this girl. And he got free it drinks. It was amazing. And <laughs> yes, I got free drinks. <laughs> I gave 100%, I brought my A game, and apparently that wasn't enough. I really don't see how it wasn't, but apparently it wasn't. Um, <laughs> Yay! Uh, that rhymes. <laughs> Can we get a poem about that? Yes. Because you're safe.